We are witnessing the achievements of mankind in the field of renewable energy and advanced technologies intended for the development of a green economy. Expo Day 27. Energy from plants, a new technology was presented at the Expo by the Spanish company. As scientists have found, in the roots of plants there are processes in which a large amount of energy is produced. This technology does not require special spaces and an energy source can be absolutely any plant. The concept consists of photosynthesis of electrons during photosynthesis and also organic substances. Bacteria that are in the biogenerator are harvested in a condenser and we can use them in technologies. We can plant any plants and they do not harm, that's why they receive the title of best practices. For example, we can see the biotester, it works here due to these plants. Electrons move in the ground where trees, vegetables and everything grows. Thus, all electrical appliances that are around green plants can be provided with energy. To operate an effective biogenerator, only soil, plants and water are required. Another advantage, electricity can be produced day and night, regardless of the weather. In the fascinating world of world exhibitions, there is an honorary title, Expo Grandmother. It was awarded to 68-year-old Tomita Yamada, and this is because every day she attended an exhibition in Aichi in 2005, at her home in Japan, Shanghai in 2010, in China, and Expo 2012 in Kirin City, Yesu. She was invited to the opening ceremony of exhibitions in Milan and Shanghai. In Astana, she was invited as an ambassador. A whole audience of young and adult volunteers gathered to meet her. At the meeting, she shared with the fact that one day is not enough to see the whole expo, and the current theme demonstrates our duty to protect nature. <laughs> In my everyday life, I like to grow flowers as well as vegetables and fruits. For a better product, a clean environment is needed. The theme of energy of the future chosen by Kazakhstan is an important component for the ecological future of all mankind. For the first time, Tomio Yamada, together with her parents, visited the exhibition in 1970 in the Japanese city of Osaka. Since that moment, Kazakhstan Expo has become the seventh expo she attended. Here, the energetic guest gladly tried on the mantle of the volunteer and began to greet the guests. For her, the exhibition is a unique opportunity to communicate with people and learn about different parts of the world. In the near future, our esteemed guest plans to study the energy of the future. One can travel to the world of children's dream in a fascinating outer space from the seventh floor of the pavilion Nur Alem. Here one can see the world of spaceships flying on solar batteries. Illustrations of advanced ideas such as the extraction of minerals from asteroids and the study of Mars are of interest to both adults and children. And in this tunnel guests go to a historic journey about space. Tsiolkovsky's formulas, Yuri Gagarin's phrases, facts, events in an energetic flow represent the importance of studying the space. When visiting the seventh floor of Nuralem Pavilion, visitors will learn about the International Space Station. On the big screen you can see the video and on the stands learn about the interesting facts of the structure and functions of each module of the space station. It is a fascinating story of how cosmonauts extract the oxygen they breathe. The world of cosmonauts can be found in the next room. Their clothes, food, way of life are clearly represented in the windows. Perhaps the most interesting hole is a trip to the moon. Here people seem to be on the surface of an Earth satellite. They are surrounded by moons and laboratories of future research centers. <laughs> <laughs> 